Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel for yes another Dollar Tree haul. I said I wasn't going to go back and I went back but I found some amazing finds. I, I managed to find according to my receipt 28 items and then with the tax it came out to 30 dollars and 27 cents. One of the things that I found last time on my Dollar Tree hauling is this fancy schmancy headband which my hair is not staying under right now. So I like to have these on my head a little bit to keep my my baby hairs here out of the way and I always wear a jaw clip in the back. It's a butterfly clip. I'll show you I got more of those in this haul. So I'll, I'll talk about that and I will show you all the fabulousness that I found at the Dollar Tree, including some unicorn items, the rare and elusive unicorn I found at the Dollar Tree. Okay, where to get started? Let's start with these butterfly clips. I'm always running out of these butterfly, butterfly clips. Um, these just say hair clips. There's four in each package for a dollar and they're multicolored. You got purple, blue, green, and pink. And you can get these at a beauty supply store for um, two or three dollars and you get a lot more of them, but they're usually just um, this color. Or you can sometimes find the pink, it's mostly black and white. Um, and I'm forever losing these clips. I'm always losing them, stepping on them. My dog chews them. So I, I can never seem to have enough of these clips because they, they just disappear into the vortex of my apartment. So yeah, I got these thumbnail. Anyway, so I got those clips. Then I found this candle. Now, the last candle that I bought at the Dollar Tree was the Krispy Kreme Original Glazed and it had zero centro, zero. So not putting too much stock into Dollar Tree candles, but this one, I happen to pick it up and smell it. it. It smells delicious, and I'm hoping that it has Centro, but I wasn't sure, so I only got one. It smells so, so good. It's the Skittles Strawberry Scented Candle, and it doesn't even smell like strawberry. It smells like... It just smells like a sweet candy starburst. It smells pink. Mmm, it smells so good, so juicy. Oh, so amazing. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it throws. I don't know if it will. You know, the Skittles, they always say, taste the rainbow. Can we smell the rainbow? I don't know. Okay, so we'll see about that. I don't know, this headband has got me looking like Willie Nelson or... I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking it. Okay, anyway. So the next thing I picked up was a magnet. You know, you guys have seen me haul a lot of magnets lately. I'm looking at my fridge. But I saw this one and it was too cute and so I had to get it. And it says, I really need a day between Saturday and Sunday. I do. They should make a day between Saturday and Sunday. So we can always have a three-day weekend. But I don't know what they would call that day. Call it fun day. Saturday, fun day, and Sunday. <laughs> So anyway, I got some makeup here. I got some Beauty that beauty Benefits Lip Gloss. Um, this is a sparkling lip gloss. I got like a mauve color and a red color. So this one, the mauve color here, it's in the shade Rosette. I have bought some of these lip glosses before. I haven't tried them. I bought the ones that you squeeze. I didn't even know they made the ones with the wand. If I had known that, I wouldn't have gotten the squeezy ones because I, I like the wand better. But anyway, I don't think it's going to make your lips look like that. But we'll see. If you hear snoring in the background, that's my pug Malcolm. He does that. Then I got this red color and this is in the shade Strawberry. So we'll see how those work out. Then I got more of these like chunky lip pencils. I call all of these chunky lip pencils, but there are actually ones that have that name on them. Then there are the other ones that just look like those and I just call them all chunky lip pencils. But anyway, this is actually a lip crayon. I really like these. I've been using them 
they're really good so I picked up some more colors this is a color mates lip crayon um, and this is number 62633 soft plum you guys would be surprised at how smooth these go on and how well they stay on and how nice they feel because um, now I haven't tried the wet and wild ones but I remember as a kid the wet and wild lipsticks used to actually feel like actual crayons they used to be very dry and very cheap I bought a few of them I haven't tried them out I don't know if those have improved but these the color mates they actually go on really well they don't feel cheap at all so again this is the soft plum okay and then I got this number 62631 and this is spice so yeah I've been trying out a lot of different Dollar Tree makeups and enjoying them. I don't have any makeup on now. I just got out of the shower. But I've been trying a lot of Dollar Tree cosmetics and I've been enjoying trying new things. It's been a lot of fun. So then I got some more lip uh, balm, I guess you would call it. This is uh, lip conditioner and this is soft lips. This is one that I've seen everybody haul and it only comes in, I've only seen it in pearl. So, people seem to like it. It's got SPF 15 in it. Though I don't ever recall my lips ever getting sunburned, but okay. So, there's that. Then, I found this other fancy schmancy headband. I know this looks like for a little girl, but with the right floral... I'm going to turn this way. With the right floral dress, I like it. I used to wear a lot of these like headbands and clips and stuff. Um, actually, you know what? Let me take this ridiculous headband off here. Let me let me try this so that you can actually see even though my hair is wet. So it doesn't look as silly. Okay, so you have to picture my hair dry and done. now I do look like a little girl. Um, so yeah, but I really like it. I have, like I said, I have a lot of these uh, clips that you just clip into your hair and I have ones that are headbands and I really like them. I don't care if you anybody thinks I look silly. I happen to like them. When your hair is all did and you have your makeup on, they look really cute. So and without this this thing here. Okay. So anyway, what else did I get? Now I know I got two of these but I don't know where the other one went. Oh here. Okay, so you guys know that I've been loving the uh, So Natural Dried Fruit Slices, the apple ones. I hauled tons and tons and tons of the apple ones, and I love them because the, you can eat the whole bag, and it's like eating chips, and they're so good. And it's fruit, and it's only 60 calories and like almost no sugar. I tried the peach ones. I did not like the peach. The peach had this like weird tang to it. This tastes like peaches. Um, but I wasn't nuts about it. So today, and they also have strawberry. I didn't try the strawberry. But today I saw one that I have never seen before from So Natural. And this is banana slices, which I thought was really cool. So I picked up two of these banana slices. I can't wait to try them. These are 80 calories, zero grams of fat, and three sugars. So um, I believe the apple were 60 calories, the peach 70, and now the banana 80 calories. Uh, but hopefully they'll be really good. I'm I want to know if they're, I want to open one. I want to know if they're sliced round or long ways. So let's try these. Let's just do a little taste test and see how the so natural banana slices are. Okay, they're sliced like banana chips. They smell okay. Let me get one out here. This is what they look like. So they look like regular, like the plantain chips. Let's see how they taste. They're good. A little sweet. A little on the sweet side. Definitely tastes like a banana, not like a plantain. I have to give it a thumbs up. But 80 calories though. 
I have to say, if you're watching your weight, go with the apple slices. Only 60 calories and still my favorite. You know what I should do? After I balance this, I should probably take this stupid thing off that says headband and wear this like an actual human being instead of like somebody who needs mental health. Oh, it's... Is it glued on there? You know what? I am just not well. Dropping things all over the floor. Okay. No, the other way. This way? There we go. Okay, that's better. Somewhat. Anyway. So, I hold a lot of pencil sharpeners lately. But uh, I hold no pencils. I mean, I hold mechanical pencils, but I have sharpeners and I have nothing to sharpen. So I found these pencils. This is a 12 count by Jot. And I just thought these were pretty. They didn't have too much of a selection of the regular pencils. It was pretty much this. One other one that had like trolls on it or something or like some animated characters. And they had the brown ones. So they didn't have too much of a selection. These aren't so bad. You got a geometric design here, there flowers and butterflies in the middle and then you get your your sparkly uh there we go over here so 12 pencils for a dollar so i get to use my sharpeners then i got some more um headbands you guys saw me haul um i hauled three of these a three pack of these yesterday or the day before that were purple pink and red and so now i have gray black pink and white and these feel like super stretchy and comfortable like i told you guys before always test the elasticity of your headbands when you buy from dollar tree because sometimes they run small depending on the country that they're made in and sometimes they are for little kids and they just do not distinguish that is a child's headband or not but i've had pretty good luck with these what did i do oh there's my my polka dot one anyway then of course i got some pens now you guys have seen me haul a notepad that had this saying on it now i found the pens these are what do they call the message pens and there's three of them in here and they say coulda woulda shoulda yeah so that goes nicely with my notepad that says the same thing then i they also had these that say love notes doodles homework which I thought was really super cute. Those are the only two kinds they had, so I got those. Then I got these pens. They were just so adorable, I had to get them. These are by Pro Marks. I don't know, there's like a geometric design, there's hearts, and then there's like a paisley print. I love a good pen, and these are so pretty. I really have to stop buying pens. I have to stop going to the Dollar Tree period, but I really have to stop buying so much of the same stuff. Where's my hair clip? I want to put my hair back up because it's a thousand degrees here in New York. I'm, if I'm moving kind of weirdly, it's because I have all these products stacked up in front of me and I'm trying desperately not to knock everything off my table. It's like this weird game of Dollar Tree Jenga. No, this way. Everything is opposite in this camera, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, then I got more notepads as if I needed more of those. I have a whole drawer full of notepads. Actually, you know what? I have one more set of pens from Jot. I thought these were so cute. It's a 10-pack of these rainbow ballpoint pens, and they're black ink. I kind of wish they were blue ink, but they're black ink, and they're just so pretty. So, I got those. Um, then I got these notepads. This one says, these are with the magnet on the back. I know some of them that I bought, I've turned them around and I'm like, no magnet. So, I got this one. It's a magnetic notepad. It's got 60 sheets. It says, choose happy. That's going to be fun when I write my little notes to myself, like, bring your lunch, go get gas, stop at the bank you know stuff I write to myself at night then I found these that are so adorable this says this is should be Malcolm's pet this is hashtag cuteness okay and I just thought these were super cute okay 
So then I got this one, which is even cuter. This is my favorite. And it says sweet. And it has a little ice cream cone. So, again, this will look cute with my messages. Go get gas. Go buy food. You know, be an adult. Um, then I got, before I get to my unicorn stuff, I hauled some True Lime pitcher packs the other day in lemonade. I think it was black cherry lemonade. I haven't tried them yet. Um, but I found this one that was intriguing to me. I had not seen it before, and this is Watermelon Aqua Fresca. So it looks very refreshing. It says real flavor from real fruit. Five calories, only one sugar. So we will try the True Lime Watermelon Aqua Fresca. And I will let you know, I will report, report back to you how these are. Whether it's during a empties video, a favorites video, or vlog, uh, I've been reporting back on these products in my vlog, so if you haven't been watching my vlogs, check them out. Okay, I want to do the unicorn stuff together, so I'm going to save that for last. last. You guys know me and the bags from the Dollar Tree. I said I wasn't going to get any more because they break, and I'm pulling the strings on these to make sure they're not broken. I should not have gone down the birthday aisle. I did not need to go down the birthday aisle. I don't have that many friends that are having birthdays anytime soon. But anyway, Bad Nabler is going to get all of these bags eventually. Just for his birthday for the next 20 years. Anyway, I found this bag. It's a glossy pink. And it has a birthday cake on it. It doesn't say happy birthday, but it's so pretty. It has new bag smell. I love that, like, I don't know. I want to say polyurethane smell. That's not what it is. But it has new glossy bag smell. And then, hmm, it, these are the sides. They're pinstripe. And I just, I almost got two of these. These are quite large. This is a quite large bag. But it's really nice. And it's by the company Viola. No, it's actually Voila. Okay. Voila birthday bag made in China. A French name and made in China. Okay. The other bag that I got, which I thought was really nice, and I haven't gotten any horizontal bags. I've only gotten vertical bags. I thought this was really cute, either for a man or a woman. Even though, I don't know, a man might feel a little bit weird about that. It says, happy birthday, make a wish, celebrate. And the note card here is a little star, okay? So I thought this was pretty. This also has paper bag smell. This is not high gloss like the other one. Okay, now I found, you ready for the, the piece de resistance, the unicorn de resistance? Okay, I found these bags. I know they're probably for a little girl, but I love them because I'm a little girl at heart. They have new bag smell because they're super glossy. I present to you the unicorn gift bag. How pretty is that? And this, these are the sides. Is that not gorgeous? Is it not fabulous? Is it not amazing? I almost hate to give them away. And of course, I had to get two. Thumbnail. Anyway, I had to get two of the unicorn gift bags because they were just so awesome and unicorns make me happy okay that's what we're gonna call this video unicorns make me happy except for that frappuccino unicorn drink go watch my video on that anyway so to go with that I found a mug now a lot of the Dollar Trees that I've gone to they don't have decorated mugs they only have plain you know, I only hauled one other mug that said, but first coffee, and it had a little coffee cup on it. I think I have it somewhere. Yep. I hauled this one uh, before, but it's it's rare that you find a decorated coffee cup. This Dollar Tree had a few. None of them are very appealing, except for one. Did I really need a unicorn coffee mug? I think I did. I think I do. 
to cheer me up in the morning while I'm having my coffee when I'm not using my but first coffee mug. Will this not look professional while I'm drinking this at my desk in front of uh, my coworkers and my boss? Yes. The unicorn mug. It's the little things in life that make us happy. So, yeah, I am totally about the unicorn. So that's that. And try not to break that mug. Put it back where it goes. So anyway, I'm going to go put this stuff away. I hope you enjoyed this video, my yet another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, thumbs up if you like unicorns. Ooh. Okay, like that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys all very soon. And until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.